Hello crafty community. This is Sherry. I have a project share for you and I also have some ideas for you on how to add texture to your projects. I use the Maggie Holmes Bloom Collection for and um, it's a really good deal full of 12 by 12 papers, um, not double sided. And what I decided to make is and it is a kind of envelope flip book. It is a large envelope that when you open it up, the envelope itself becomes your project or your flip book. And uh, I'm going to share that with you right now. I made this very easy wand using a doily, some craft, a cupcake liner that's craft paper. I got that at my local grocery store. Here's a doily that I cut from a die cut using the bloom paper, and here's one of those butterflies from the dollar store. And of course, a little gold speckled um, straw. So super easy to put that wand together, and it just slides right in there. This tool I got at Hobby Lobby, I liked it because it has a flower, it is flocked, with these little white flowers. And the reason that I closed up this project with tool is because it wants to open itself. <laughs> so I needed to close it with something, so I thought this tool would work well. The friend that I'm giving this to, she loves the color pink. And here is the project. So this front butterfly is uh, based on, I believe, I haven't personally bought them, but I think it was Maggie Holmes uh, butterflies. They are large butterflies and they have the um, this kind of fringe layers on them. So uh, my friend had made a pattern for me and I decided to use it to make her a butterfly. So here's the project. It is basically a decorated envelope that you make. I use my We Are Memory Keepers envelope punch board. I made, I believe it is the 11 by 11. I used, yes, I used 11 by 11 paper and made the six by eight card size envelope. And using that, it is about this big. I think this is really nice and big. Plenty of room to decorate the way that you want to. Um, some of the things that I put in here, I made a tool clip. Here's a little ticket I made out of the ticket punch using the bloom paper with one of the words from the paper, Inspire. A couple of embellishments that I got from other uh, die cut collections from other papers but they but they go well these gold phrases the O oh snap gold phrase is from um, gold phrases that I found at the Dollar Tree you get two pages full of these for a dollar really excellent deal if you can get over there and get those that's that's really nice so I pulled some more of that gold shiny gold color in through this butterfly and this arrow and some gold paper clips Here's a shaker card that I made using a um, journaling card that I got from Debbie. She's Scrappy RN here on YouTube and also on Instagram. So um, I showed her this right away when I made it. Uh, I um, also used just one of those um, small jewelry bags that you can get um, for, I, I like to put ATCs in them or things like that, but I've been making shaker cards out of them lately. This is a flower that was made for me and given to me in a swap. And then basically everything is just put together um, from punches and from the paper collection. And so here's some ideas for you on how you can add texture to one of your projects. One of the things that I did to add texture to this project is I used glitter or glittery paper. The glittery paper has almost like a sandpaper feel to it. And um, this is Stickles, and it has the same sort of rough feel to it, the sandpaper feel. 
and there's some glitter edging this flower. Another way to add texture to your project is to use something like one of these chenille wires or pipe cleaner wires. It, um, it has depth and it's very soft and um, fuzzy. <laughs> so, um, you know, I had those out to use for the antenna of the butterfly and I thought, you know what, I'll use them as a border. Um, be careful when you use them though. I use them as a border here and it, it this side goes up very easily and closes easily, but this side, not so much. It wants to just pop right open. So, um, but that's still, I'm still very glad that I used it. I think it adds a pop of color and definitely adds some texture. Another way you can add texture is through um, lace. Lace has um, got that fabric texture and it's easy to glue down or tuck into places and it really adds a lot of um, class to your projects. Crepe paper is another way to add texture to a project. I have crepe paper that I used here for this um, little rosette. And uh, if you want to know how to make them like this, I followed a tutorial by Jeanette Lane. Um, this crepe paper, fringed crepe paper, I got this idea from Little Hot Tamale. So that's another way to add texture. The twine is a way to add texture. This lace paper, is, it's just like a doily, but it's just lace paper. Um, that brings some texture into the project also. Um, you may have noticed this fringe here. It's not lace, it's a ribbon, but it has, uh, it's like a fabric fringe, and that also adds some texture. There's some smooth texture on here through these clips, and that's very smooth. The tool also adds a little bit of texture to the project. And then the gemstones, they pop up and they are smooth, but um, also add a little bit of texture. And um, here's another gemstone. One more thing I did is included this wood veneer. And so the wood is a different texture as well. So there's just a few ideas of some ways to add texture to a project to give it some dimension. And now um, to end, I'm going to go, go ahead and show you uh, the goodies that I'm packing into this little Happy Mail package that I'll be sending to my friend Chastity soon. Here's some pieces from the paper collection, um, a couple of the tickets left over from that I punched out, some small elements that I punched out, and a little flower. I put them in this envelope. I made this envelope using um, a template, and I made it with some denim uh, stationery. It's just, you know, denim paper. And since the Bloom Collection has this dem denim print on it, I thought that would be kind of fun. I also added a little denim in this star and as the body of the butterfly. I also made this, you, you already saw this, the wand. I made some tags to give her out of the paper using a couple of tag punches. One is the larger size and one is the smaller size and then you combine them to make a tag. And those are in this little envelope, this little coin envelope that I got. I think it might be Seven Gypsies, but I got it. It could be Smash also, the Smash book series, but I got this at uh, Tuesday morning. Here's some washi samples. I used this washi on this project, but um, it's from a fall type washi. So I gave her a sample of both of those. I made her a couple of Polaroids. You know, I'm gonna move this out of the way a little bit so that you can see those better. Basically, I used the We Are Memory, Com we Are Memory Keepers Polaroid punch board or frame punch board and paper from the collection and some more of those gold sayings um, that I got from Dollar Tree. I took a Micron pen, um, Sakura Micron. It's an O1 
and I just drew a line around the edge and you know you might think well I can't draw that straight but I don't know if you noticed but I didn't draw straight either if this was perfectly straight honestly it would not be as interesting or as intriguing as just drawing a crooked little line it just adds so much more character to it so don't be afraid to add some um, lines to your projects that little bit of black color too really helps anchor the eye and really kind of uh, brings the project together and makes it feel more complete. Then here's just a couple of banners and a denim butterfly using my butterfly punch. So I made her a couple of Polaroids. I'm holding those together with this little clip that I got at Dollar General um, that I've been using. I've been using those up. And then my friend Chastity, she loves to make really big tags. And I've never really tried to make them very much, but I just love the ones she sends me. So I was watching a video by Karina Kreitz earlier. I'll link it below. And she had uh, created a Halloween, either a tag album or a flip book. I can't remember, but it'll be linked below. And she made this tag um, and... Uh, a large tag with this little with a glassine bag on it and I really was inspired by that so um, following her layering ideas and everything I came up with this one and then it's got um, all these little fringes which really add add a lot to it too and then inside this I put a bunch of die cuts from the collection and um, and from um, some are not from this collection but we're, this one was gifted to me but these are from the collection. Um, here's here's one that was gifted to me from uh, Scrappy RN, and then this is uh, just one that I cut from the collection. So I put those in there, and that was really fun. I really enjoyed that. Here's one of those gold hearts that I got at Target, and I used it as as the re uh, hole reinforcer. So that is my project that I have to share with you today. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, maybe got a little inspiration. I'll link some videos below that um, inspired me, including the Karina Creates one and the um, Jeanette Lane tutorial for making those little crepe paper rosettes. Um, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Have a great day. Bye-bye.